thinks it works. <laughs> <laughs> Must shoot. First shot with these reloads. Terminator 87, everyone doing well? I know I am today because I'm shooting a Desert Eagle. I know I've been slacking on the big bore videos lately, so I thought this would be a good one to make. Anyone who has watched me for a while knows I like Desert Eagles, and at this point I'm basically collecting them as I have a few. This one is an Israeli Mark 7 model. The title of this video is not a typo. This particular Desert Eagle is chambered in the sometimes obscure 41 Remington Magnum. This particular handgun is actually the first 41 Magnum I've ever fired. I'm actually a little surprised a lot of people haven't heard of a 41 Magnum, let alone many people didn't even know the Desert Eagle was chambered in it for a short time. Personally, I've only seen one other short video of this gun being fired on the internet. We're definitely gonna put a lot of rounds through it today for this particular video, so sit back and enjoy. The Desert Eagle chambered in 41 Magnum was a good idea, but it wasn't a commercial success for Magnum Research, which is why they discontinued it. The 41 version always took a back seat to the more popular 357, 44, and 50 models. I believe it was gone from production by the time the Mark 19 models come out after this Mark 7 did. Like the 44 Magnum version, the 41 Magnum holds eight rounds in its magazine. This is a six inch barrel, but it was also available in a 10 inch. The main difference between this gun and the previous Mark 1 is the adjustable trigger hooked safeties, and extended slide release. The 41 Magnum was designed by Elmer Keith and Bill Jordan. It was introduced in 1964 by Remington and was intended for law enforcement and hunting use. The 41 Mag in ballistic performance falls between 357 Magnum and 44 Magnum. In the 1960s, the 357 suffered in performance without jacketed hollow points being widely available yet, and the 44 Magnum was mostly considered to be overkill for law enforcement use. Originally, the 41 Magnum was called for to send a 210 grain jacket to hollow point bullet with a 1300 to 14 foot a second muzzle velocity and a more mild 200 grain semi wad cutter at around 900 feet a second for police use. What ended up happening was Remington released it with higher advertised 1500 feet a second standard and 1150 feet a second police loading velocities. Smith & Wesson originally chambered it in their large end frame revolvers these factors contributed to it not being widely adopted by police, its intended market. While it never took off at the time, it is still chambered in a few guns, including this eventual Desert Eagle. And today there's still a few revolvers and lever actions produced that shoot it. It's still loved by firearm enthusiasts and handgun hunters who appreciate its somewhat lighter recoil and flatter trajectory than a 44. It's the big bore round for the discerning big bore shooter. Going hot. Yeah, the trigger out, it's actually pretty good.
It really doesn't taste bad. It's just bad. And that's probably why I limp with it. Everyone have ears in? Mm hmm. Now I do. Nice fireball. Is that in? Yeah, it sticks out just a little bit. Oh, okay. One. Just give it a tug and let go of it. It's pretty heavy. Okay. Just slowly squeeze it. Shot to the top. <laughs> And maybe towards the middle or bottom of it. <laughs> that was awesome. That's why you kill it. What'd you think? I like it. Is it loud? I blew it up. <laughs> I wing the top of it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Okay, damn. This kicks a lot less than that 50 of mine you shot. Does it? Well, that's good to know. I like it. It does kick a lot less. Ooh. Okay. Oh, the camera's facing us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm firing the hole. Everyone got ears. Mm -hmm. Filming it sideways for you. Nice slow squeeze. And then when you're ready, just slowly squeeze to the rear while holding that sight picture. Okay. Nice. That was awesome. It wasn't that bad, was it? No, not at all. It's all over me.
and get as close or as far as you want. Right there. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Entry, exit. <laughs> I like it. Um. I think one of the mags isn't very good. I think one of them is kind of junky. That's the 44 yeah, mag. That's the 44 mag. So uh, that might be part of it. Uh, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. Damn, if it had rained recently, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Mm -mm. I'm having a blast. Literally. I love my 41 Magnum. It's nice. That's fun. It's nice to shoot. Yeah. yeah it doesn't hurt. Not even my little hands. <laughs> this part's a little time consuming. If only it was a little deeper. Yeah, if I had a five gallon bucket or something. Probably good. 
should fill this up though so we can shoot this too. Yeah. Huh? I brought you back for something. Nah. I don't know. Having a wet t-shirt contest over here. <laughs> and about that. I felt that tree good. <laughs> That's shit. Metal pump. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 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 it. Yeah. in there. I thought it went over here. That's what I, right it's here. right there. Oh yeah. Gross. <laughs> Look at that can of beans. Oh, there's still some life left in it. Nice. I think he might have killed. <laughs> Excellent. on safe right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
That was pretty good. Safety on? Yes. So get the safety off. I got, well, he got it off for me. That's what she said. Shut up, cat. <laughs> Uh, somewhere. I'm not getting that one. Is there anything left? I sure enjoyed that. That thing shoots smooth. And like everybody says, it fits right in between 357 and 44 and it shows when you're shooting it. It's smooth, it's accurate, it shoots flat. I really like this. This is gonna be a favorite, I think. And it's kinda rare, so it makes it cool. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching us shoot it. We had a lot of fun. I hope it showed in the video. I hope you felt like you were here too if you couldn't get out today. Um, always remember to like, favorite, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, 
keep watching, keep shooting. We'll see you next time. Exterminator87, signing out. Goodbye, guys.